Is there evidence of that accelerated decay rate? Yes, there's a number of other lines of evidence that we discovered. I was looking inside some crystals in granites. What happens in a, in a granite, you get the crystals that contain a little higher level of, of, say, uranium. And when the uranium decays, it's like sending out little bullets, like guns. So, you know, a gun fired at a drywall will leave a hole, it'll, leave, it'll damage it. And so you, that's what happens inside the crystal. The uranium atom, it spits out the, the decay particle like a little, little bullet and it damages the crystal, but it can only go so far before it loses its energy. And so you have this damage around the central area where the uranium was. It, we call it a radioactive halo. It's where the crystal was damaged. And I've, I was studying a lot of I, hundreds of samples from granites all around the world. I was even looking at uh, other types of rocks to see if we could trace this elsewhere. And the interesting thing is that um, it was like having the difference between a handgun and a, and a rifle. Different atoms will shoot bullets different distances and they'll shoot them faster or slower. And there is an element called polonium within the decay scheme of uranium that has a very short existence. And this was a clue, the fact that we found these halos that were made of polonium only, came from polonium only, were indication that to separate the polonium from the uranium so you could produce a polonium radio halo had to mean that the uranium decay was speeded up. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if it wasn't speeded up, the polonium would be lost before it could, could, it could nucleate to, to form its own halo. And so we found, I found that in, in granites all around the world, hundred, hundreds of samples. So that was physical evidence that radioactive decay has occurred. You know, some would argue that just because you measure the chemistry of a rock, you know, you've got uranium and lead in a rock, can you assume that that's all, all the lead has come from radioactive decay? Could it be to do with the chemistry of the rock? And in part it might be. But here in this instance, we had physical evidence that uranium had decayed and the radiation had damaged the crystal. Because of that halo. Correct. 